U.S. Bank Voyager. Fuel, maintenance, and more. Managing fleet expenses and payments can be a major challenge, especially without the right solutions. The U.S. Bank Voyager Fleet Program offers businesses a single source solution to help manage and control fleet fuel and maintenance costs. What fleet-specific features can you expect on the Ford F-150? Which Nissan pickup is getting an 80s throwback? When will the last Peterbilt Model 389 be built? What company did Isuzu choose to partner with on charging? And do you have the Work Truck Exchange 2024 on your calendar yet? Get ready as I cover all of that and way more in the 97th episode of the Top News Recap from Truck Chat. I'm Lauren Fletcher, Executive Editor of Fleet Trucking and Transportation at Bobbitt. Let's check out the top work truck and van fleet news highlights as of September 29th, 2023. But before I continue, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Several automaker updates took place this month from traditional powertrain to alternative fuel updates. On the light duty pickup truck side, the 2024 Ford F-150 is coming, featuring a one ton payload and seven tons of towing. The new F-150 enables intelligent features that connect to Ford Pro for an all-in-one solution that accelerates productivity, maximizes uptime, and improves the total cost of fleet ownership. One feature now only available for Super Duty and the new F-150 is connectivity to Fleet Start Inhibit. Commercial customers have access to Fleet Start Inhibit, which allows fleet managers to control when their vehicles can be started. Fleet managers can set schedules or send down on-demand signals to enable or disable start on the following key cycle. This requires a paid telematics subscription and the vehicle security add-on. And did you know that through the first half of 2023, Ford F-150 is the best-selling full hybrid pickup truck, with sales up 28.1% over the first two quarters of 2023? As a result of this increasing demand, Ford is nearly doubling the production rate of hybrid trucks for the 2024 model year. Continuing with light duty updates, Nissan announced pricing for the 2024 model Frontier as well as the relaunch of the hard body edition. The 2024 Nissan Frontier goes on sale this fall with a starting MSRP of $29,770. New for 2024, the Frontier has added an SL grade on crew cab models. It bundles several features such as LED lighting, leather appointed seating, a Fender 10 speaker audio system and more in the midsize truck. Frontier enters the new model year with a throwback touch in the shape of the hardbody edition, a nostalgic tribute to the original Nissan hardbody pickup of the 1980s. Available on Frontier SV Crew Cab 4x4, the hardbody edition features heritage-styled 17-inch wheels, retro-inspired decals, all-terrain tires, a sport bar, black exterior trim, and other design flair. From a spec standpoint, the 2024 Nissan Frontier is built to meet fleet demands with a 310 horsepower 3.8 liter V6 engine and a 9 speed automatic transmission. The fully boxed ladder frame allows the pickup to tow up to 6,640 pounds. And moving towards the heavy duty side of the traditional powertrain, Peterbilt celebrated the 100,000th Model 389 production at its Denton, Texas manufacturing plant on September 7th. The Model 389 was introduced in 2006, and this 100,000th truck represents the hard work of designers, engineers, and plant employees. As part of the celebration, Peterbilt presented the milestone truck with a limited-release Model 389X Special Edition package to Massey Motor Freight, a nationwide freight shipping service based in Texas. But the milestone truck marks the end of an era. The Model 389 will end its historic production run at the end of the year. Its successor, the new Model 589 introduced earlier this year, is now available through order through any of Peterbilt's 425 plus dealer locations in North America. Model 589 production begins in January 2024 at Peterbilt's factory in Denton, Texas. Moving to alternative powertrain updates, Isuzu Commercial Truck of America has appointed ChargePoint, a provider of network solutions for charging EVs, as an official source to provide EV charging infrastructure, software solutions, and training to Isuzu dealers and customers. This follows Isuzu's March announcement of the 2025 NRR EV, a Class 5 battery electric truck in early 2024. Using their secure dealer credentials, Isuzu dealers can log in to a designated ChargePoint website portal. ChargePoint or one of its authorized channel partners will collaborate closely with the dealer and or customer to create a personalized electrification solution. 
It will also help identify potential incentives offered by state and local agencies and utilities. ChargePoint or its channel partners will be able to oversee every facet of the project, encompassing needs assessment, equipment procurement, installation, and charging training. And in additional electrification news, Fast and All Company has selected ZEVX for an operational trial to convert pickup trucks in its fleet to EVs. Sydney Dunn, Senior Vice President of Sales and Field Operations at ZEVX, expressed their dedication to supporting Fast and All and integrating EV technology into its last mile delivery fleet. Dunn emphasized their shared commitment to ambitious objectives, including reducing carbon emissions, enhancing efficiency, reducing costs, and prolonging the lifespan of existing commercial vehicles. Having completed the proof of concept stage, the announcement commences a six-state trial in 2023. ZV, ZEVX's battery electric powertrain and power system products will be employed to retrofit up to 16 fastenal vehicles. And Mullen Automotive formally drew back the curtain in its new Class 3 electric truck in late August. The unveiling was held at the OEM's vehicle assembly plant in Tunica, Mississippi. WorkTruck was on hand to see the new Mullen 3 and the Mullen 1 compact electric van that will be built in the facility. The first Mullen 3 rolled off the plant floor a few days earlier. But Mullen executives wanted to celebrate the debut build and outline the OEM's ambitious plans for additional vehicles in the coming months and years. Mullen, which now owns a 60% share of Bollinger Motors, will launch larger commercial vehicles under that nameplate earlier next year. Initially, Mullen will aim for the Class 1 compact van market with its Mullen 1 vehicle slated to begin production later this year. John Schweigman, Mullen's chief commercial officer, noted that while the Chevrolet City Express van, which just left the market, had 125 cubic feet of cargo space, the Mullen 1 will offer 155 cubic feet of cargo space and spill over into the Class 2 vehicle space because its battery electric powertrain does not take up as much chassis and body space as a gasoline version. Check the links below for a more in-depth version of the driving experience. And Motive Power Systems is now taking 2024 orders for the new Argo Series electric truck featuring the first medium-duty EV cab. The Argo Series is designed to support all medium-duty applications across four through six, including box trucks, step vans, shuttle buses, refrigerated vehicles, vocational vehicles, and other specialties, and is built on top of Motive's powertrain, including industry-leading torque and 150 to 200-mile range LFP battery. Motive aims to have the Argo help meet California's advanced clean, fle clean fleet rule demand for roughly 20,000 new zero-emission medium-duty EVs on the road by the end of next year. Fleet owners looking for a low emission, high efficiency, and affordable engine solution that is not electric will soon have new technology to turn to thanks to a partnership between Stanandyne, Catec, and the Propane Education and Research Council. The new solution combines Stanandyne's direct injection fuel pump and injector system with Catec's vapor lock technology to create the industry's first medium duty engine system that can deliver propane autogas at a constant 350 bar pressure directly into the engine. It's all part of the company's combined decarbonization mission. The new engine technology overcomes vapor lock, a common technical issue when liquefied gas vaporizes, which can interrupt fuel pump operation. By finding a solution, the new technology improves engine performance and efficiency. The combined system fueled a standard 6.6 liter GDI engine during a 250 hour performance and durability test. The new technology will help fleet owners exceed the ultra low emissions mandates going into place in 2027. Have you been keeping an eye on your video notifications? In addition to our monthly news caps, Truck Chat has several other video series, including Faces of Fleet, where we get to know more about the people in our industry. My most recent interview was Xavius Flowerly, CEO and founder of the Black Fleet Network, where I had the opportunity to sit down and find out more about his organization, its efforts to increase inclusivity and diversity within fleet, and how anyone can get involved to support its mission. I also had the opportunity to speak with Dane Giese of Enterprise Fleet Management about his gold buckle dreams and how the pressure and camaraderie of rodeo helps shape his leadership today. Check him out. And WorkTrek Exchange 2023 took place September 18th through 20th for its fifth year. This networking and collaboration event brings together fleet decision makers with supplier hosts for a variety of networking opportunities. Attendees work together to explore solutions to their daily fleet challenges. Nicknamed Speed Dating for Fleets, the 2024 event has already been announced and will take place September 25th through 27th in Scottsdale, Arizona. If you missed out this year, get this on your calendars and visit www.worktruckex.com to get rolling for 2024. 
And finally, we can't ignore the ongoing UAW strike against Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis. With things changing every day, I won't go into details that may change tomorrow, but for anyone who hasn't been watching the news, the most recent UAW contract ended September 14th. The original UAW demands included a 46% pay raise, a 32-hour work week with 40 hours of pay, and a restoration of traditional pensions. The most recent updates shows Ford working to meet UAW demands, but an expanded strike as of September 22nd, with union members walking out of all 38 parts distribution centers operated by GM and Stellantis in 20 states has occurred. President Biden has spoken of solidarity with union workers. Stay tuned online for the most up-to-date news and information connected to the strike. Thanks for listening to today's episode of Truck Chat. So much goes on in our industry, it's tough to catch it all, so make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. To read it all, head on over to worktruckonline.com, bookmark the page, and sign up for our newsletters. And while you're here, check out the rest of our YouTube channel, subscribe to our podcasts, and follow us on your favorite social platform so you never miss an update from your number one vocational truck resource, Work Truck.